Hey kids, welcome to another Take and Make from our library here in Kipling. My name is Sharla and I'm the librarian here and I'm so excited to be doing this Art Start craft with you today. What you're going to need from home is a bottle of glue, a paintbrush, and a pair of scissors. And everything else we need should be in your Take and Make bag. So what we'll start with is there's this cardboard tube in your bag and we're going to need to do some cutting on the bottom here. So we're going to do one cut about that far up this side and then we're going to do exactly on the other side another one like that. So now we've got it into two halves here and then in the middle we're going to cut again and then exactly on the other side we'll do that. So now what we've got is we've got four pieces, right? And now in each one of these four pieces we're going to do two cuts. All right, so we'll do that now. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces cut out. These are going to be like the spider's legs when we start painting in a minute here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take two on one side and we're going to cut those off because we only want our spider to have eight legs. So we've got two off on this side and then right exactly across the other side we're going to take two more and we'll cut those ones off as well. So what you should have is a tube with eight spidery looking legs on it there. So we'll set that aside for now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paper plate that was in our bag and our little container of paint. Now we'll put our paint, tip it all in there like that. And you can use your paintbrush to scoop it out. And this is going to be for dipping our paper tube in here. So now here comes the fun part. I'm going to set this just to the side a little bit. You're going to take this and you're going to dip it in the ends and kind of ooh, squish it down like this, all the way down. Fill it all up with paint. It's going to be kind of messy. So you've got it all filled up with paint like this then you're going to stamp it onto your paper. So you can actually start with it just kind of sort of touching and then slowly squish it out like that. And then you've got some spider leg shape stamping. So you're going to want to give that a little bit of time to dry. And once this is dry, you're going to take and put some glue Kind of where those spider's eyes are going to be. Like that and in your take and make bag there's some googly eyes so you can add those on there. You can give your spiders just two eyes each if you want or, or a whole bunch of eyes it's totally up to you. So now that your spiders have their eyes and everything you could even take a marker from home and maybe you want to give them a smile other facial expressions. Oop, this guy's surprised. You could also take and draw some spider web. Maybe this guy's coming down. Or if you want to do a whole spider web, you could do that even before you stamp. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. And once you've filled your page up with spiders, you can grab another piece of paper from home if you would like. You can use your spider stamp as much as you want. Um, and then if this one gets wrecked, I'm sure you have some cardboard tubes at home. You can make another one. So I hope you enjoyed your art start for today. Thanks so much for joining us and you have a great summer and I'll see you at the library.